What's up guys, it's your boy Justin, and we're starting off the Halloween season by reviewing a Rob Zombie movie, of course. We've been re reviewing Rob Zombie movies for like two years now, and uh, I'm a kind of a casual fan of his, so when I heard that he was doing a new movie, of course I was going to watch it, and despite people's bad reactions to the movie, I... You know, as a Rob Zombie fan, I had to watch... By the way, Rob Zombie fan... I, I'm a fan of his directorial work, not his uh, crappy rock music. <laughs> Besides from Dragula, all of his music sounds the same. In my opinion, right? So yeah, um, yeah this movie is... Uh, I think it's supposed to be a family comedy film? I'm not 100% sure it, about that. Uh, it's directed by Rob Zombie, obviously, and starring, you guessed it, Sherry Moon Zombie as Lily Monster, Jeff, uh, Jeff Daniel Phillips as Herman Monster, Elvira herself uh, has a bit part in the movie, you have Daniel Roebuck as Grandpa Monster, Butch Patrick as the Tin Can Man, don't even know who that is. Apparently, well, apparently this is the guy who played the werewolf kid in the original TV show. Um, you have um, Jorge F Garcia as Floop, who you'll know as the fat guy from Lost. And Richard Brake as Dr. Henry Augustus. And you have uh, Thomas Boykin as Lesser. And there's like, you know... Uh, cameos from a bunch of different horror people from the show a lo lot of lot of uh, movie references that kind of went over my head uh, in this in this movie but since this movie has a very retro um, aesthetic for aesthetic um, that that should be you know expected right so the movie um, the movie is basically like a family comedy romance film. The movie feels like pretty much a setup, like like a prequel to like a TV show. Like a lot of people were speculating this movie was supposed to be like you know a like a prequel to a, a Monsters reboot TV series, but since you know uh, this movie pretty much critically bombed and got like a straight to like straight to you know st straight to like you know online release you know that's that's obviously not going to happen which this movie came out the 27th was was released online a week before release <laughs> so, so Somebody either really hated the movie or was like or it was some kind of like weird like ploy from the from the studios. Hey, let's let's leak our movie see if it makes critical buzz, which nobody barely anybody talked about. <laughs> talked about the leak, right? Yeah, so the movie uh is about basically you have Richard Brake who who, who's known for playing like a redneck in a lot of uh, uh, J Rob Zombie movies and like horror movies in general actually uses his English accent in the movie which he's actually from the UK if people didn't know and he plays this like mad scientist uh, mad scientist who with his sidekick Floop played by Jorge Garcia who, besides from like trauma, trauma film movies, I haven't seen him in anything since he did Lost, <laughs> right? So it's nice to see uh, or Hurley get uh, that was his name from the Lost, right? Hurley gets gets some work, right? So yeah, um, the movie starts off with them grave robbing, right, and uh, they encounter a zombie. They kill the zombie, and that's the only kill in the movie. Sorry, boomers and like horror fanboys who thought this movie should have been a horror film. 
There's only one kill in the movie, and it's a zombie. Right. Yeah, so they kill, they kill, they ki they kill the zombie, and um, you know they're grave robbing the Doctor Henry Augustus, played by Richard Brake, wants to create basically the ultimate man, uh, and screws up, screws up <laughs> horror horrifically when his sidekick ends up. Take, instead of getting the brain of the second smartest man on the earth, ends up getting the brain of this comedian that's also played by, uh, also played by Jeff Daniel Phillips, right? And they created Herman Monster, who, uh, who's like a Frankenstein monster, who who is a stand-up comedian slash rock star, who, uh. Like, uh who meets Lily Monster, who is a vampire, who's a vampire that eat, can eat regular food and can be out in the daylight, right? Uh, who who was ha had a date in the beginning of the movie with Count Orlock from Nosferatu. I'm not kidding, but it goes horrifically wrong when he tries to impress her by dancing to electronic. Really bad electronic music, right? It holy crap! The music in this movie is pretty bad. I'm like, well, the electronic, the electronic music is pretty bad. The regular music that they that they use is okay, All right? Yeah. So Lily Monster, after seeing Herman Monster on TV, go uh, g goes to meet with him. They fall in love. They get married, right? Uh, but Herman Monster, sorry, uh, Grandpa, the the Lily's dad really hates or Herman and tr uh, and tries to sabotage their relationship by by trying to create uh, using black magic. The perfect husband ends up making a dancing cowboy monkey man, which I thought was a missed opportunity uh, for. A missed opportunity for him not killing it, killing the abomination that he he made, right? Which would have been funny. Maybe he like we would have pulled out a shotgun and blasted the fucking ape man, right? Missed opportunity. He just tells him, "Shush, shush, get out of here," right? Uh, there's a subplot in the movie with Lester, the, the uh, werewolf, which the werewolf was what like the kid. Like their kid in the TV show, but here Lester is like the brother of Lily, right? Who's a uh, gambling uh, good for nothing, who owes a lot of money to this gypsy woman, played by Catherine Schell, who I'm guessing is a famous horror actress. What's she was in? Uh, a lot of B movie stuff. She was in Space 1999 and the and the Return of the Pink Panther. Okay. Yeah. She plays like a gypsy woman who wants revenge on Grandpa Monster because he broke her heart. So using Lester, uh, she steals Grandpa Monster's uh, Grandpa Monster's castle, right? And the finale of the film is the monster family going going to California, going to California, moving into the le to the famous house that they had in the TV show, right? And them winning like uh, w winning a lot of money at a at a, a Halloween costume party, right? Uh, and the, and. Uh, the movie just basically, like I said, set up for them uh, living in the, their famous icon, I, iconic house in California. So what did I think about the movie? Well, I watched the movie twice for this review because the first time I watched it, I was I wasn't I I I couldn't in my mind figure out what the fuck kind of rating because the movie. Is a family comedy basically. There's a few dirty joke, 
dirty jokes in the movie, but it's kind of innuendos. Like, Igor, the assistant for Grandpa, is like, uh, is losing his job, so he's gonna be, he's going to apply f to be, uh, Grandelberg's or whatever, uh, pool boy. And, like, Grandpa makes a joke, uh, Grindelberg doesn't own a pool. Right? And they make, you know, references to that guy being a possible homosexual. <laughs> the quote, the, uh, that, that's what they say in the old country. <laughs> right? They, they make jokes like that. You have Lester being drunk off his ass in a few scenes. Right? Um, there's, there's, there's some sexual jokes in the movie. But it's one of, it's a thing where, like, this movie is basically a family comedy. Right, and uh, the movie honestly is not that funny. There's there was only like two scenes in the movie that where I kind of when I kind of laughed at or sorry chuckled at, right? Uh, the scenes with Richard Brake in the movie, like I thought his character was funny, right? When he's uh, drunk at, at the wedding and he goes to Grandpa Monster, he's your problem now. <laughs> and laughs at his face and gets and like ch chugs like a bottle of liquor. That was funny. Uh, Grandpa Monster, some of the like, you know, the snide remarks he would make were pretty good. But like, yeah, the movie, like, it's the thing where. You know, it's just like it's again. It's like a family comedy film. I think this is a. It's the thing where like this. If you were, if you're married and you have kids, you want to sit down and watch a movie with the family on Halloween. This is a good movie to watch. A lot other. If you if you've already seen Monster Squad, because that's that's also. I mean, that's probably the best like. Halloween family film, but it's like nowadays it's too edgy for because <laughs> you have a few f bombs and dirty jokes. But like that, but like if you're looking for a more cleaner family Halloween movie, this is okay, I guess. I've never seen Halloween Town, and Hoobie's Halloween was okay. I think this movie, in, in some ways. This movie's worse than Hoobie's Halloween. Because Hoobie's Halloween, yeah, that was a family movie. But at least that felt like more like a ho like a horror, like a Halloween, like horror movie. But like for kids, kind of. Where here, it's just like, I, I don't know. Really, it's just like a family movie, right? Right? And Sherry Moon Zombie... I was surprised to find out that she's only 52 years old. <laughs> Cause like th this chick, this chick looked like she hit hit the wall since like the late 2000s, man. And it's like holy fuck, she would have still been in her 30s, man. Man, like like she, though I I would say Sherry Moon Zombie. Thanks to all the makeup in the movie, she looks fine. Except for one scene where, like, uh, where her and Herman get tattoos and she gets, like, a tattoo on her back. And her back looks like an old lady's back. <laughs> but other than that, she looks great in the movie. Like, the makeup looks... Like, some good things about the movie is the make. I thought the makeup looked fine. I like the colorful sets. Colorful costumes, right? Uh, like the movie looked like you know looked cool, like you know like re very retro esque, right? A lot of people say the mo movie looks cheap, but I think for you know like the how big it's a Rob Zombie movie. How big the, could the budget be, right? Especially a lot. lot it, Especially like a lot of his movies, like the budget, the budgets keep going down because they keep bombing, right? But like overall, I thought the movie is a fine movie. It's like a five. It's not as bad as people say it is. I think it's like it's a solid five out of ten. But if you're a Rob Zombie movie fan, I like 
there are a lot there are a lot better like Halloween movies <laughs> like uh, Halloween movies to watch honestly like if you haven't seen El Super Bisu the haunt sorry the haunted world of El Super Bisu watch that instead because that that's a way better Halloween comedy film by Rob Zombie here you know <sighs> It's the thing where, like, the movie... I think the biggest problem with the movie is that it doesn't have a real third act. Like, the real... Like, the... the there's no real climax to mo the movie. The movie just, just ends. And that's, like, the biggest problem with the movie. Then the movie... Like, the movie's what? Like, the movie feels like it's, like, two hours long. Well, it's, like, an hour and 40... 40 40-something minutes. Yeah, so the movie is kind of too long for what it is. But overall, like I said, it's a 5 out of 10. Worth watching at least once. Alright, guys.